Hey guys, it's Fear Pitcher here. Just back to another product review. I'm taking a look at the Alesis Sample Pad Pro, which I just got for $299, which is awesome. Um, it's got eight pads of pure awesomeness. Uh, I think it's a great buy. There's not anything else that you can get in this price range. Everything else, like the Octopad, is twice as much. There's these old sample pads that you can get for also twice as much. Um, and they're all way bigger, none of them light up, um, and they all have a lot of the same issues. This one was in production and they I ordered it like December and I didn't get it until yesterday, which is so annoying. But other than that, uh, I think they're making some great stuff. Um, my units had a bit of issues with some crosstalk between this pad and this one. So sometimes when I hit this pad, did you, did you see that? Did you see that? I hit this pad right here, I swear to God. Look at that, it just hit the other one, you see that? But it's only when you kind of hit it on a weird spot. There it goes again. So now it's in the back. So if you kind of, you see if you hit it up back at that tip, it'll trigger the wrong pad which could be really annoying in a live set. But, if you're playing it regular, it doesn't have it as much. But you could see that, it was really freaking annoying, you know what I mean? So, a couple of, a lot of these units have had that problem. For me, it's not gonna be a deal breaker, um, just because I'll know not to use these shoulder pads with really important sounds, especially if this one's a, you know, really important sound. Um, pluses about this great build quality rubber feels great it's super solid lights are kind of you know pretty bright not crazy bright uh, but you can see it I wish these things were clear so you could see the whole thing that'd be awesome uh, but when you you know pimp them out with some light up drumsticks it's pretty sweet as you can see I think one of the biggest problems with electronic music is people don't know how it's made. So when you see someone just with a wooden drumstick hitting on a drum pad, uh, first of all, that's better than playing drums with your fingers. Okay, but you can't see that someone's actually initiating the sound because the sounds can be anything. So I feel like having pads light up and a stick that lights up makes it a lot more clear that you're actually playing stuff. So uh, I'll just kind of show you, you know, this is a few sounds that I made with some Tibetan singing bowls. I repitched them and then layered them up some other stuff. Responsiveness is great. You can do rolls. I mean, if you can do rolls. So, uh, very responsive, very quick action, um, velocity sensitive, of course. It takes an SD card. You can layer up to two sounds, which is great. So far, mine have all worked really well. Uh, it's been pretty quick. Um, it's got a phone input, um, main levels going up, and then it's got some built-in sounds. I'll go ahead and show you guys some of those. Uh, let's see here. So, uh, I like this 80s kit, it's pretty sweet. Uh. Yeah, so that's my favorite. Other than that, the, the drums are kind of weak, honestly. You know, but whatever, it's still fun to rock out. Yeah! Alright, so, um, yeah, that's the built-in sounds. They kind of suck. Uh, so I'll play you guys a little bit of this track I've been working on. You can see my other video here, right there. That's where you can see my other video, where I'm actually just playing this track. Um, so, here's a little bit of it. I'll just play a little bit.
anyways, check out that other video. You can see uh, where I actually play it, and it's a little better because I don't screw up and suck and stuff. But that is the Elisa Sample Pad Pro. Oh, also, um, none of the videos that I've seen so far, because I'm obsessive about watching these videos, that's why I started making them myself, um, is they never show the back. But this is how you could mount it. It looks like it's got uh, a little, you could put a mounting kit on it. So you could put on a cymbal stand and actually use it uh, in a drum setup or something. Um, and I think you can use the DM10 module mount kit, which they sell on Amazon. But I'm not certain about that. But just take a look. This is the pattern of holes. You know, that's about finger width. That does anything for you guys. So... Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and check out my stuff, soundcloud.com slash spearfishermusic. Peace.